Well, like the AFL, finals fever is also overtaking the SANFL, which starts its major round with a double header at Football Park on Sunday. The redevelopment of Adelaide Oval means that all of the SANFL finals will be held at Westlakes for the first time in eight years. And then there were five. The race for the SANFL flag and the Thomas Seymour Hill Trophy is on in earnest. Last year's runner-up Glenelg has earned top spot and a week off. The club's trying to keep a lid on expectations at the Bay as it chases its first premiership since 1986. It's about us and about how we, what we expect of ourselves and what, you know, continuing on to do the things that we've tried to do throughout the year and just focus on what works for us. Central's quest for a remarkable eighth premiership in 10 years will start in Sunday's late game, the qualifying final against Sturt. New season effectively right now, the intensity lifts and um, fortunately we've got a bit of experience to know how to handle that moment. Elimination finalists North Adelaide and the Eagles will have to win four sudden death matches to raise the cup. It's a huge task but one both clubs are relishing. Great players have been formed in finals, great teams have been formed in finals because of, uh, because of upsets and uh, we'd certainly like to be in, in that bracket. We're probably not given much of a chance out there and, and it probably serves us well because we, as I said we're a young group, we can go in with, with a carefree attitude. Football Park is a somewhat foreign venue for all five finalists, as most SANFL players only get to play there in spring. There's still four posts at either end and, and green grass, so once the ball's bounced, it doesn't make that, that much of a difference. Glenelg will play the winner of the qualifying final next week, with a grand final berth on the line. The qualifying final's loser will face a do-or-die match against North or the Eagles. Pete McDonald, ABC News, Adelaide. There's not.